We're going to be looking at another Bachman train set. I'm not sure what year Bachman made this. I think it's pretty old, probably in the 80s. We'll find out if there's any dates on the inside. I couldn't find any on the outside. But I picked this up in 2022 at a train show. Uh, it was the Piedmont Division train show in March 2022 in my hometown of Cartersville. Uh, but anyway, this is a, a model of the DeWitt Clinton. It's a railroad, locomotive, passenger train, whatever, from 1831. So one of the earliest, not the first, but one of the earliest. The actual original DeWitt Clinton does not exist, but there is a model of it in a museum. Uh, I'm hoping this thing is going to run. This is what it looks like inside the box. I think this is used, um, but it's got a little history of the DeWitt Clinton here, and it's interesting. Um, they, they literally just took stagecoaches that would have been horse-drawn and set them on the platform of the these for the passenger cars. Wasn't the most well-thought-out thing, but then again, railroad, railroad service, passenger service was new. They just invented it, basically. Uh, it was very dangerous, uh, because the cinder and ashes and their flammable clothing <laughs> could lead to disaster. Uh, but it was, uh, yeah, it's a piece of history. So I got a model, and it, interestingly, uh, this says this is an exact reproduction of the DeWitt Clinton. It's an exact reproduction. So the people must have been very small in the 1831s to ride this exact uh, replica or something like this. All right, let's open this thing up. All right, well, maybe it's not used. Wow, this, you got three three passenger cars. I think this is where they carry the wood and the water uh, for this the steam locomotive. I hope this thing works. And it did come with track. Well, maybe this is... Oh, let's see if this will open. Oh, good. Ugh. I don't know what all that... What is all this grit in here? All right, so this is... Looks like it's never been open. Oh, there's bugs. <laughs> Dead bugs. All right, so that's what's going on there. All right, let's get all this stuff out of here. The track, the transformer. All right, so, yeah, it's missing. Yeah, this is not new then, because it's miss. Oh, no, it's not. There it is. I thought I was missing this, but it's there. Uh, and I have the bonus of extra dead bugs. So I'm looking at my 040 locomotive instructions. Don't know what year this is from. I cannot find the year in here. So it's not as old as I thought. This says two, wait, 2000 into our century. So it must be 1999. Just looks old. I wonder what would happen if I filled this out. <laughs> it's basically 23 years since it was made, but only it's less than 10 days since I bought it. So I'm going to use the the track that came with it. Hopefully, I don't need to clean it. It says nickel silver, so I don't know. It looks it might work. So I got the track set up. The only thing left now is to uh, plug in the transformer. And we'll be ready to go. Hopefully this, like I say, I hope this thing's going to work. And this one requires a screwdriver. The modern ones, you don't need the screwdriver, but I got to go get a screwdriver so I can connect that. So always be recording. I'm liable to break this, so I'm very afraid to take it out. Oh my goodness, how do you take it out? That looks like it's connected right there. Uh, like in a plastic case here for the locomotive. Oh, this looks so fragile. It looks so fragile. Uh. <laughs> Come on. Come on out. Oh. Oh, it looks like it's just going to break. Just me. I'm going to breathe on it and it's going to break. Is that on the track? Yeah. Such a small little... Uh oh, do I have the... 
Oh, it works. I did. I didn't realize I had the um, transformer on there, but it's working so far. But get you some close-ups of it. If it's, I don't know if these close-ups work with. Wow, it's pretty. It is pretty detailed. Let's see which way it goes forward. All right, so it is a little finicky. Oh, it's backwards. So it could be this track, 20 year old track. We'll get it, see if we get it going before we put the passenger cars on there. It's gonna burn up all of his wood. It's working. All right. Nice. Well, let's put the uh, passenger cars, if that's what you want to call them, these carriages, literally. Again, I need to record this in case I break it. You know, I'll be like, well, at least I re recorded it. How on earth do you get this out of here without breaking it? Here's the thing, I gotta put these back in when I'm not using it, so. Oh. It's very light, it has very little, it's almost like it needs to be weighed down, but I imagine if you put weights in it, the, the locomotive would probably struggle. These things are light as a feather. Again, it's an exact, exact replica. It's exactly what they would have rode in 1831 on their 46 mile excursion that fateful day. Only a few passengers died. Why, well, I'm just making that part up, I don't know. All right, there we go. Now how do these, hmm. It looks like they were put in in a different order than what they actually go. So I gotta turn, or did I flip them around? So that goes that way. It goes that way, and then they hook a little tiny hole. You got it. These aren't typical couplers. You're not going to be uh, running this uh, with the modern rolling stock. All right, there we go. Got the carriages on there. Let's connect this piece. Ah, oh, all right. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. Oh, there he goes. Uh-oh. That was bad. Let's try it again. Oh, oh, look at that. Somebody built the track wrong. I wonder who that was. All right, I fixed it so it shouldn't bounce up. There we go. And we can make it. I spoke too soon. What happened then? Thing likes to decouple. I need new glasses. Missed another one there. All right, I think we got it good and broken in now. I'm gonna go put it on my HO scale layout and see if it'll work. My track may need to be cleaned, but hopefully it'll run. So I think the wood car or whatever they call this, the tender, that's where the motor is. Oh, I can see the gear there. So that's the motor that kind of pushes this part along. Then I never got a really a close up of the cars. That's the M and H railroad. 
M and H Railroad. Not M and R Railroad. So number one, number see that's number one. That's number two. Let me guess. This one's number three. Yeah. So the M and H stands for Mohawk and Hudson. Uh oh, you're going backwards. Let's go the other way. Uh oh. I hit the wrong button. Yes, I think I'm gonna have a lot of dead spots on this track. Come on, you can do it. Hey, it's working. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Can you imagine riding? The, I bet you it wouldn't have been going this scale speed. Probably was a lot slower. I wonder if walking was faster. Oh, I hit a dead spot. Oh, I forgot to turn that track on. There we go. Nice. Try and slower speed. That's a pretty neat little model. A piece of history from American railroads. Obviously they don't make them like this anymore, huh? <laughs> Can you imagine? But it was modern technology in 1831. This was the cutting edge. How rich do you think the people were that actually rode this for that 46 mile ride on the first run? The DeWitt Clinton. I think that's named after the Erie Canal guy. Yeah, the Mohawk and Hudson Railroad piece of history of railroading and a little finicky model, but it, it mostly works. Whoops. Uh-oh, we derailed. Uh-oh. <laughs> Whoops. Get it back on the track there. Who's driving this thing? So thanks for watching. These trains are fun. I like trains. These trains are fun. We'll be back with another train video very soon. I think rats chewed this.